welcome to my channel guys welcome to jess althea's channel um this is my saturday reset um yeah i've done my linen um need to undo and style my hair but i've done my bed sheets so i'm gonna be making my bed and um let's do a little saturday vloggy vlog style just out here style all right I'm going to be making my bed, um, and it's going to be a montage, so, yeah. Put the... And no, I have no any special fancy linen. Um, this is nice and summery. Got this at Target some years ago, and, um... Just nice and here it's not thick. And I did invest in a sleep number bed. It has saved my back, guys. Get that on holiday sales. Sleep number. Yeah. Um All right, um, this blouse I got from Walmart and it will be in the Walmart try on haul. The quality is super poor, the material is trash. Um, I wanted it to be a nice cotton summer blouse, but this you can only wear in the evening because it's gonna be hot and clean. So I'll do it, the try on haul. It came late, so I'll add it to the haul. You'll see the haul before this video. Oscar is here as usual. I need to take his bell off when I'm doing my videos because it's terribly distracting. He doesn't have a bell with his tag. Nothing fancy or Instagrammy. Just me making my bed. Kudos to you. I'm a working girl. And then there's this mess, multiple glasses. My bedside, I take them to work during the week. My water, my chlorinase, a little ear piece that I use for my. Okay, over here, I use it for. My editing, just to hear the sounds. Come here, books. Let's take your shaky, shaky color off. The bane of my existence. Yeah. And all these clothes up, I have my camera charging. Let that charge. And then 
all these wires by my bed that I use with my equipment. All right, so there you have it, my little comfy spot. Me to Jess's corner. Or are those? Is this flower I got this here from Target? And I got these from the dollar store. Target, the dollar store. Just to spruce up just Althea's corner. A little bit. All right, we'll come back. I'm gonna be doing a closet clear up, so I'll let you guys right, watch. Catch this mess in the bathroom. I'm gonna clean up the counters and such a mess is this closet. Don't judge me, guys. Yes, I'm gonna give away most of these because they can fit me. Just a little bit of a problem that I have. Sorry. Um, and I'm gonna try and make this closet somewhere that I can do my um, recording. Um, I'm doing this recording. It's Saturday. 25th, I believe. Not sure, but the point is this corner here um, has most of my pants, shorts, hanging pants, and then I have some stuff over here. All this needs to be cleared out, organized. Um, it's not going to be a fast process. All those towels and stuff I'm going to put in the linen closet and just revamp this area so that I can do some filming in this corner. I'm going to change out this light. I'm not going to take down the wire shelving. I'm going to um, organize them so that yeah, I am able to film in this corner. And I'm going to change the light to something um, brighter and it's more appropriate for filming and um, this ironing board that is not able to break down we're gonna eventually put it out because it needs to be able to go in a corner and then yeah um, my treadmill will stay my exercise stuff may or may not stay the dog will stay <laughs> will downsize and organize um so yeah this video this organization may take me about a month but it's gonna be done so this video is gonna be ongoing all right so this is a start so i put the um pants um on that side um, I still may move the towel over here. I have my scrubs and such. Um, those should be moving as soon as I clear out the closet. Put my shorts up there. And um, I move the shoes on over here. So I think that's looking good so far. I'm going to um, get some partitions to put my um, larger bags up there. And then have like a sort of a focal piece for when I'm filming. There's something to the bag. Those are a couple of basket bags that I um, fresh, you know, travel, tropical environment, etc. And um, I do have this area with some bags and purses. Um, my thought is that I'm going to be doing a little garage sale and then some giveaways um, in terms of stores etc and um, yeah that's a start so let's see how this ends up I'm not really liking I'm gonna put some of these jackets downstairs in the closet with my winter items and um, yeah that's a start just changing out the lighting as well the lighting is important because this light is very yellow um, so it's not gonna be good for filming so the beginning of the closet makeover. All right, I'll be fixing up this little spot here. It's a whole closet bathroom. 
fixing up weekend. Um, going to be washing some brushes and some sponges. So I do use dish soap. So I use the Dawn liquid soap. Get the water warm. I do um, just soak them off for a little bit so while they're soaking, I'll be just tidying up the counter. Put some soap in the water. the sink with water I let them soak for a little bit and then um, wash them out especially these sponges need um, soaking out I'm just doing some blending brushes today I'm not going to be doing the foundation brushes as of yet um, I'm going to be cleaning off the <clears throat> mirror Pledge, clean it. Um, it's multi surface cleaner. And I'm going to just be cleaning the mirror and the counter. Yeah, this is me. <laughs> I'm just going to clean this area up. All right. Um, this little corner. I'm going to dust it up and just organize my everyday makeup that I use. Um, I have just some extra stuff in these drawers and um, some of the cupboards um, that I use less frequently. I do I realize this video is a tad shaky because the tripod was not tight enough. My powder just makes a mess on the counter here. <clears throat> we do have this Myers product that I use as well. Dash way. I've come to realize that I'm a little key hoarder. And no, I'm not taking them all out. Um, 
is dusting the top of them. I'm staying right where they are. These are all my primers and everyday stuff that I use. My physician formula bronzer, usually kept under the cupboard here. And then some new um, concealers that I got from ColourPop and this Milani lip stick. In this drawer, they'll all need to be out. The airspun powder that I use. Um, yeah. We'll come back when it's So while I'm tidying up, um, just let me show you the things that I got from TJ Maxx. I got this Jacqueline Hill, let's see, this Morphe and Jacqueline Hill brush. It's number, less is needed. <laughs> it's number, how is she sublime? I don't know which number, but it's a blending brush. Um, I got two of them. I'll link them below. Got them in Target. Um, Jaclyn Hill is one of my inspirations. She does pristine makeup. I could never, ever be like her. I got some Sigma brushes as well. Um, P89 Sigma brush, and it's for baked precision. And then I have this powder sweet brush as well. So I'm gonna use these in upcoming videos. Um, I also found um, the girls talk about this all the time. It's the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. It was for too much money, um, but yes, I tried it last night. I picked it up yesterday. Yeah, tried it last night and it's absolutely well moisturizing. I also found this um, NYX Duochromatic Illuminating Powder. And I think it can be used as a bronzer highlighter sort of a thing. And then I'll try it out with my makeup. I'll try and do a makeup routine today yeah so let's get back to washing brushes all right see clean i got this um little equipment from on Dolor 25 store. They really need to rename that store. Anywho, um, I just use just more of the brush. Just for some friction, I used to just rub it in my hand, but um, this little silicone pad helps a lot. Just to get the powder out of the brushes, see? Gentle, soft, um, but effective. See, they're clean. soap as I go along just to get this stuff out. Some of the powders do stain. Just try your best to get them out. And I use hot water just to help to sterilize the brush as well. Yes. I 
that water out. The foundations stain much more. Um, I used to buy um, the Beauty Blender liquid. Chomp, please. It's too much money. It's not that serious. So the um, Dawn helps to remove the grease and build up. I'm just using warm water to rinse them out, especially the sponges. You have to squeeze them a lot because I have soap embedded in it. So squeeze until the sudsy soap gets out of it and you can feel it in your hand because it feels heavy when it feels light and nice in your hand it means that it's it's clean this is a elf and elf, elf sponge and this is um real cosmetics sponge so i don't actually have the brand beauty blender i have the dupes and they work just fine and I don't really use them to apply my foundation anymore. I use them more for powdering and smoothing out the foundation um, if I think too much is on my face. Alright, so soap is out of that and let's rinse these. Alright, so yes guys, um, you have to take care of your things that you use to apply your foundation because um, you want to prevent breakouts, etc. So I'm just being a good example for you guys. All right, so Lass is looking good. Um, got entirely too much face products. I use every single one. Um, I alternate so that my face doesn't get accustomed to the products. Um, the e.l.f. products are absolutely um, phenomenal. Then I use the clear, Clean and Clear um, Lemon um, Zesty Scrub when I need to do a little bit deeper cleaning of my face. My deodorant, yes. Um, I use my Pond's um, Clarence B3. Um, helps to brighten my face. Um, and then I just have my toothbrush and stuff that I keep my um, cotton swabs and Q-tips. I started using this Pro Enamel um, help with sensitive teeth, just my little body sprays. And I do have some dossier products. I'll be doing a review. I'm gonna do an entire self-care video um, and that will be one of the major things um, that I'll be reviewing in that video, so stay tuned for that. Um, so more for this Saturday reset where I wash, you know, redo my bed linen, clean my bathroom, and I'm gonna go have dinner so you'll see what I'll be having for dinner today. And then I'm going to be doing a makeup video um, this Saturday, because I work the weekend. So, what else will I be doing today? Pretty much chilling after I do that makeup video. I'm gonna be using the brushes that I just showed you that I got from TJ Maxx. Um, I washed the other brushes that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. And then um, I'm going to try to put some lashes on today. So, today's the day when I'm gonna try and do, practice my lash placement. So, stay tuned. I'm also revamping this basket uh, I've had for a while. I had some green and white toes in it, but it took them out so I could wash them. So I'm just replacing them. Just add a little pop of color. Um, it's my self-care basket. I have my Teals product. My Teals products in these baskets. Um, they sit on the side of the tub. And so my bubble bath, my um, exfoliating foot masks and such that I place in it. So just trying to revamp 
put just place the towels. Place them on top of the towel. I love my Moonlight Path. It's the best thing ever. Foot scrub that I got as a gift. They're really nice foot cream. Um, this is also from Bath and Body Works. Um, just to put in the tub to alternate. Um, let's see. too much in there now because these towels are thicker and um this and then ta-da um, put up my purple shampoo <laughs> i do also have these lush products i'll just find somewhere else for them i really don't use these they're just on there for decorative purposes. So. All right, so here you have that. I have um, a little backdrop for filming purposes. It's a little bit cluttered. Um, this was in the closet, so I'll put this back. I think this will be enough. Um, and then I'm drying my brushes in the bathtub on a toilet. So yeah. Um, and then I have this little candle here. So yeah. All right, so I'll be making a quick meal. I already have some ground turkey that I made earlier this week. I'm gonna be pot roasting or pan roasting these. Um, whole kernel corn, um, they're canned, evidently, and then these um, simmering Caribbean black beans. I'm gonna pour off most of the sauce, save just a tad, and um, make a quick meal. I am counting my calories, because you can see that your girl is a little bit thick around the waist in her clothing haul, so. I need to eat better. It's evident in the video. So I'm gonna just add a drizzle of olive oil, not too much, because um, each tablespoon is 120 calories. We don't have time for that. All right, I do, if you did see my reel earlier this week, I had this, um, these little um, containers that I got from Aldi. And then my find um, that I have burning on the stove, those candles. So yeah, now let me turn this down so you can see what I'm doing. A little drizzle of oil, just to make it warm up. I have the stove on high. Um, I've already washed and mm, drained and washed my corn. So I'll just add it to the pan. It's not hot enough yet. <laughs> I'm get it hot, so I'm just gonna spread it out. And while that starts to roast in the pan, then I'm gonna be washing my beans. Stay tuned. So you see the corn is getting a little bit brown as I roast it. And then I'm going to add the beans. I did wash them and drained and washed. So it was um, seasoned, but I didn't want the entire amount to be seasoned. So I'll just roast it down as well. And then there is this small amount left in the can. I don't know if you can see that, but I'll add to it and start adding flavor. And no huge cook, but I can make a meal. Hot, I added some garlic powder. And I added some minced onions. 
and I also added some Italian seasoning. All right. And now I'll be adding the additional amount of the beans that has some flavor. the stove down just to add flavor I, want, I didn't want it to be too wet um, and I'll come back when I part I added some garlic powder and added some minced onion and I also added some Italian seasoning. All right. And now I'll be adding the additional amount of the beans that has some flavor. And turn the stove down. Just to add flavor. Want. I didn't want it to be too wet. Um, and I'll come back when I've played it. I have the finished product. It's not necessarily aesthetically pleasing, but it is delicious. And I'm going to add some Quest chips um, to that. Um, so, yeah, this is dinner. My turkey meat with the corn, roasted corn and black beans, the tortilla chips, which is protein rich, and I may or may not have that tangerine. So that's dinner. All right, welcome back to my Saturday reset. So um, took a shower and I have this little Walmart top on, and um, you should have seen my. Walmart haul by now, and you'll see that in this video. Um, you'll see this stuff in that video. Um, also, I you would have also seen my um, Lockiversary, and I did this hairstyle, um, and I wore it for a week. Actually, it wasn't this hairstyle, I redid it, and I did it in three um, braids going back. Um, in the video, you would have seen it in two braids going back. So I redid it because I um, wanted to. <laughs> and so this is the hairstyle I'm taking down now. I was also having some camera challenges in that video. So I'm hoping that I resolve that, but I'll be more mindful of when it shuts off and I need to do the settings. I have to read the actual, um, book to see or I'll watch a YouTube video as to how to set it. Um, so this is not going to reveal a style. I didn't expect much crimping, um, but I'm not sure I'm going to do braid it forward and I don't want to manipulate it much because um, if you would have seen that video, you would have also seen that I did the twisting method this time around as opposed to interlocking. It's holding up well. It's still pretty neat. Um, and I noticed in the video that I did have a little ball spot up here. So I'm not sure what that's about. So I guess it's part of the aging process. Um, but I do have my little oil mix. Um, and again, I have my rose water, so I'm just gonna spray and restyle. I'm gonna braid forward, and I think I'm gonna do just two braids forward and um, just style it that way. So I'm gonna just part forward. This is all part of my Saturday reset. Um, in the mornings for work, I don't have time. Unless I'm just wearing it down or wearing it back. I don't have time to braid it and all that good stuff. So I'm just going to do that now. And then I secure it with my head tie. And then I'll have my hair ready for tomorrow. 
I'm just gonna oil the scalp a little bit because it was braided down. Um, just massage it in. This has a mixture of oils. Um, I'll link my other videos and um, you are able to see what's in that bottle. Alright, so I'll turn around. I do have my setup here for my actual makeup that I'll be doing after this, but all right, let me turn around and I hope that it doesn't cut off. Um, yeah. This is pretty simple. Just grab my hair and just um, over under much like you're doing a plait. just plait the front and I'm loving the ends guys because you've seen that video as well that I did trim my edges and I like that it's not straggly ends that I am having so I put my rubber band on this one My OG Jamaican girls, you know how to braid, you know how to play it. That's exactly what I'm doing. You can do this with your unbraided hair as well. Braid it forward if you have length. the straight out, neaten it up, tuck it in. Um, my rubber band. I thought I had three rubber bands. Something is always missing. And you just simply style it. Um, I'll be just tucking in and I'll come back right after everything is tucked and styled. So here you have it, my little tucker roll plaits to the front. Um, so I hopefully we'll be rocking this for the week to come and my videos are done ahead of time so um yeah so don't be if you see me wearing this style this week this video should be coming like the following week so all right so yes guys so that's for the hair and then back to my Saturday reset I'm gonna do um my face just to make a video so i'll put aspects of this makeup in this upcoming video but this is going to be a separate video um so i'll put bits and pieces of this makeup in this little saturday set I have to film ahead of time and so as a result um, I use my day off to do my makeup videos or um, my clothing hauls or whatever I have planned um, so that I can have roll-in videos. So I'm going to be doing this video. It's going to be about um, mostly NYX products. And then um, you'll see bits and pieces as I go along in this videos, um, in this video, in this videos.
girl so you'll see bits and pieces in this video so stay tuned thanks for watching all right so <clears throat> I'm gonna try and finish doing this makeup video. I switched to my phone. Um, hope it's not that obvious. And I'm gonna try and do some lashes part of my um, Saturday reset. There are things that I need to practice. And um, I did this makeup um, look and now I wanna apply lashes. And so I'm gonna reverse curl the lashes cause my lashes curl up real well. Um, so I try to get them straight out so they're not curling upwards when I'm trying to place um, my lashes. I don't know why Oscar is barking now, I think, because the yard is about to be cut. So let's try and get this done before. So I've watched several um, videos on this. I'm going to put a little bit of mascara on. I'm going to put it downwards a little bit. And then just to be able to see the base of my lash, right? So we're not curling up, we're trying to straighten it out a little bit. And that's method to my madness because I'm not able to see. All right, so first um, I'm gonna be using the mirror here and I'm gonna be using these Ardell um, 150 lashes and they're black um nice and wispy so i'm gonna apply the glue directly to my lash line and it's this duo gel um again this is practice so don't come for me y'all do not come for me what i watch some of the girlies um on their lash line. So this goes on a little bit uh, whitish, bluish, and as soon as it starts getting clear, then it will be time to apply the actual lash. It'll be tacky enough. So I'm practicing. <laughs> I don't always that should not look good on everybody. Oh, and I'm still yet in the evaluation phase of that. Lash on some people make their favor, but uh, lash on some people is just so beautiful. You're like, I want that. But I'm yet to figure out if I will look like a bat or I will look Sexy and sophisticated. <laughs> Hilarious. All right. Um, let me get my tweezers and then I will unhinge these lashes while the glue dries. And just to logistically figure out which one is going where. Yes, I figure that the yard is going to be cut, so sorry about the background sound. Um, so, it'll fit like this, really. So, this is for my right eye, this is for my left eye. So, let's see. It's getting clear. It takes about a minute, they say, to dry. So, patience is a virtue in this regard. Mm -mm 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 my decolletage. <laughs> yes, girls and boys, I'm a tad crazy at times. I tickle myself. Sometimes I'm funny and sometimes I'm intense. That's the beauty about me. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, I'm gonna go use my finger them. And let's see if I'm bad or oh, I'm five and sexy. You see, look down, look down, look down in the scenting. Put the niggle on first. Put the niggle on first. Then you can touch the wrist. Is it 
floating, guys? Let me see, 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 let me see. I think I should have cut it. How does that look? Ooh. Ooh, I think your girl looks good. I can always do one. You see, you see what I mean? You want my lashes in the way, me no want to go behind. All right, let's take this off. All right, let's try again. Let's try again. Let's try again. Let me use my left hand. And sorry if the mirror is in the way. I don't. I wanna. Look down. Look down. Look down. Look down. Catching onto my lashes. So I mean, this was just the hardest thing ever. I'm not dunce. Why this can't work? Oh my god. Alright, let's see. What another good? Terrible. The first one went on easier. The second one looked like a bat. <laughs> the first one looks good. All right, okay. My problem is, is I don't want to know that it's there. And as of now, I do. So, this is a hmm. what do you think, guys? What do you think? May I play back this reel? I will know what I think. see the lash glue on my eye because that's another thing I don't like when I look over somebody's eye I am not interested in seeing all that gunk how about you let's talk All right, guys, so this is my Saturday reset. The last of it is that the yard is being cut. I'm going to head downstairs. I'm going to chill. Not in Netflix, but YouTube. Chill in YouTube. All right, guys, please like, share, and subscribe. Portions of this aspect of the video will be my makeup video, so this is just a little chuckle for you. Yes. Thanks for watching. Please do like, share, and subscribe to Chess Alpha's channel.